The Dash Core team's upgrade of 12.1 was pushed on the evening of February 5th. Holy network update. It's never a dull moment here in Dashland. Hi, I'm Amanda B. Johnson, and you're watching Dash Detailed. And because I know you want to hear them first, let's start with network statistics. Today's masternode count is 4,219. Of these, about 23% have already upgraded to 12.1, and around 6% are in the process of doing so. On the mining side of things, about 50% of Dash's hash rate has upgraded to 12.1 at this time. Speaking of hash rate, our current hash rate is 2.3 terahashes per second. The general sentiment on this state of the upgrade from both core and community members seems to be that all is going swimmingly. Now, here's the important part. The enforcement, or spork, of the protocol versions, that is the old one and the new, is set to take place on Sunday, February 12th. This means that on that day, any nodes not running 12.1 software will be kicked off the network. If you have a full node wallet and you've not yet upgraded to 12.1 and you intend to, check out the subreddit for a collection of astoundingly simple guides for updating. And now, yes, I know you're second most concerned with the price movement, so let's do that. The Dash price at the time of recording in US dollars is $17.14. Someone recently cleverly pointed out on the Dash subreddit that this has put us at parity with silver. This makes the Dash market capitalization roughly 121 million US dollars. There are just under 7.1 million Dash in existence. And over the past 24 hours, we've seen roughly 1.3 million US dollars in trade volume. For context, here is our three month change in market cap, our one year change in market cap, and of course, our lifetime or a little more than three year change in market cap. And now for development updates. Lead developer of Dash, Evan Duffield, has published a synopsis. It includes details on 12.1's functionality, a reminder that if you had a multi-month proposal into the treasury prior to 12.1, you'll want to resubmit, and a sketch of things going forward. Not to mention a link to Dash's pretty, pretty new website. Yes, that's right. If you've not yet checked out the new Dash.org, you may care to do so, as it is different this time round. One might call it more user-friendly. In other development updates, KeepKey has released a beta client that supports Dash. And speaking of hardware wallets, I know so many want to know, can I launch a masternode with my Trezor or my KeepKey? And the answer is, if you're willing to put in some manual labor, yes, by following this guide, actually, as published by Dash developer Chaplin. The steps are what one might call laborious, and the buzz about town seems to indicate that within a number of weeks, the process should be simpler, and corresponding guides will be published at that time. In other developments, Evan Duffield and Ryan Taylor, among potentially others, I'm not actually sure, come to think of it, have moved into their new office space at Arizona State University's Skysong Innovation Center. Ryan shared these photos of the new digs and its various amenities, as well as the mailing address of the office, should you care to send any physical mail to them. And in other developments, Dash Core team members Robert Wyko, as well as Holger Schinzel, have wrapped up their appearance with a few members of CoinFirm at London's ICE Gaming Conference, where Dash with CoinFirm services were presented as a complete package of sorts for the gaming and gambling industry. Can you handle more? How about Dash in the news? The 12.1 update was covered by Mike Dotner in Payment Week, as well as Sambaraj Das in Crypto Coins News. In addition, Ryan Taylor also gave an interview on the Spanish YouTube channel Crypto Noticias. The verbiage is in English, the subtitles are in Spanish, just to be clear. And now to business news. 
The exchange BitSane, based in Ireland, is now a new fiat gateway for those wanting to buy Dash with dollars or euros. BitSane accepts dollar or euro deposits via OKPay, OK ADV Cash, or bank wires. And speaking of fiat gateways, I must correct a mistake I made in last week's show in that Biddylicious, yes, only accepts bank wires from UK customers, but they accept credit and debit card purchases from people all over the world. Sorry about that, Biddylicious, and thanks for correcting me. And another business news, very exciting. General Bytes, the CTM manufacturer based in Czech Republic, has launched a thunderclap campaign to add Dash to their CTMs. So what General Bytes is seeking is that any Dash supporter who has a Twitter, Facebook, or Tumblr account sign up to share the news about the Dash addition to the product on February 24th. At this time, 39 of the desired 100 people have agreed to do so, myself included. So if you have a Twitter, Tumblr, or Facebook, and you'd be willing to share the message that Dash is going to be supported on General Bytes on the 24th, go ahead and sign up at this page. And finally, we're almost to the end, social happenings. There have been two Dash meetups, one in Kazakhstan, yes, Kazakhstan, as well as one in Panama, where Dash core team member Daniel Diaz presented. My information on the Kazakh meetup is limited to this snappy video that was uploaded by a sister YouTube channel that I didn't know that we had, well done, and more information about the Panamanian meetup can be found on this Steemit post by Randy Halarski. Next, the Dash Force has announced their testnet contest winners, who are DeFacto, Todd, and One Fab Unicorn, who each won $100 in Dash for their great work testing. Well done. And finally, Dash developer Kodax has put up this web game to test gambling with Dash using slots. Anybody can stop by to try out the game, which uses testnet coins. If you'd like to try, Kodax recommends that you use the Android Dash Testnet wallet, and you can get free Testnet Dash at any sort of faucet, like this one. And that's it for Dash Detailed. What a day, what a week. If you've not yet, I hope that you'll subscribe to this weekly series by sending an email to amanda at dash.org, and I'll take care of it. We publish a new video every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time. So see you then. Bye-bye.